Breaking news this morning, a three alarm fire leaves 16 residents displaced. Yeah, the fire started just after midnight in the 3400 block of Carondelet Street inside of a shotgun style duplex. That's where Duke Carter is this morning. And Duke, we understand that that fire spread from that duplex. Yeah, it spread from this duplex behind me here in the 3400 block of Coronda Lead Street, and then it spread to this apartment building where 16 people were inside. Luckily, nobody was hurt. There were no reported injuries, so the good news is there. But I am speaking with one of the people who did live uh, here in the apartment complex. Good morning, ma'am. What's your name? My name is Lisa Davis. And so talk to us about, run, run through what happened uh, around midnight. Well, we were all asleep inside, and um, a guy came and was screaming and hollering, letting us know that they had a fire next door in the abandoned house. Mm -hmm. So we all like tried to get. When we look, opened the door, the flames was just shooting out from the top of the roof on the side. They had, you know, everybody was trying to get. I had to rush my grandkids out, and we tried to wake up everybody, you know, on the second and third floor also. So we got everybody out. It wasn't, you know, no one was hurt or anything, but. It was a serious fire, what, and they should have been told this house down. What went through your head at that moment when the guy who knocked on your door said there's a fire? What, what, what immediately went through your head? Uh, let's get out of here mm -hmm. and get my grandkids out here to mm -hmm. safety. But I, I had a feeling something was going to happen with this house because it's been a, um, a, a problem. Mm -hmm. since it's been abandoned for so long, and the homeless people come there, and I don't know, they do all kind of things, and then we've been complaining about it, so they should have, you know, been done something about it. So... Um, now they have to do something about it. And is that what you're hoping for in addition to getting assistance with, with, your, with your, uh, your supplies in your house? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Because we, we kind of lost everything because it wasn't the fire damage that got us, it was the water. Mm -hmm. Because the fire was so close that they had to, you know, to get the fire under control, they had to, you know, hose the whole house down. So on our side, we, like, lost everything what on the did, first, second, and the third floor. What exactly did you lose in your house? Oh, we lost our TVs, beds, clothing, all my grandkids, clothes, toys, everything. Because the water, like I said, the water, the water coming from the roof now is leaked on everything. The TV, that's electronics. We mm -hmm. can't get that back, you know. How is American Red Cross helping y'all with some things? Are, are they helping with y'all some stuff? Yes, they helped us real good. They, mm -hmm. they, they really helped us a lot. So mm -hmm. they're helping us with, like, trying to, you know, get us housing vouchers and stuff like that. But they have helped us a lot. And so the good news is that, again, no one, as you know, was hurt in this fire. Yeah, no one was hurt, thank God, for that. It was a few people that would sleep, thank God, that mm -hmm. someone saw the fire and woke us up because I don't know how that would have fared out. So, yes, thank God no one was hurt. So everything is okay now. Yeah. Thank right. you, Mr. Lee Stavis. Right. Appreciate thank it. You. And again, you just heard from that survivor. Again, this is one of the many people who lived in the apartment complex, 16 people displaced. Again, American Red Cross is assisting with some of the families, but as you just heard, they're still looking for assistance as well. And again, we'll have more coming up in the next half hour. But for now, though, ladies, we're going to send it back to y'all in studio. Again, glad to hear that no one was injured, Duke. We wish them the best moving forward.